Hey everybody, George Stanley here. Um, real. Real is what we need, right? So, I mean, yeah, over the last 20 years, you know, we've had dot com, e commerce, you know, all this stuff that happens online, virtually, right? But it still has a real component, right? Um, there still have to be real buyers and sellers, you know, you could have a virtual transaction, you could have even have a virtual product, but they have to be real buyers and sellers, you know, there's really no economic activity, unless like you actually have buyers and sellers, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's why, for example, I just want to, you know, caution, right? It's so easy to go down the road of, I'm just going to invent another token, you know, I'm just going to start up another chain, and then, you know, we'll play the game, the pump and dump game, hopefully more pump than dump, and, you know, let's just see how much we can, how much air we can pump into this thing, and then, you know, uh, maybe we'll, like, just pull the rug really slowly or something, I, I don't know. Um, the thing is like, we don't need the 99th llama coin, you know, and just by creating llama coin and, uh, you know, airdropping it to a bunch of anonymous people, some begging going on, you know, people just kind of like waiting for the crumbs to fall off the table into their mouths. Um, you know, and then suddenly, suddenly you have like a you know, $1 million market cap to your coin or something, your token. Um, you know, I just have to question, like, where, how, where's the real value coming from, you know? Like, there's network effect, right? You can say, like, 10,000 people hold, you know, there are 10,000 unique uh, addresses or, that hold this co my coin, you know? Therefore, it has value, right? But... Like, what utility does it have? You know, how does it connect to buying and selling? You know, and not just buying to hold, you know, as a speculative. Like, we have so many speculative assets in the crypto space. Um, you know, and I don't want to say that we don't need more speculative assets. You know, maybe, maybe we do. I don't know. But, um, like, do we really need the 99th Llama coin? Is investing your time into the 99th Llama coin really going to add value to you, to its holders, to uh, the BCH ecosystem, smart BCH ecosystem, the, the crypto ecosystem to the world, you know? So I just think there's, there's value in keeping it real, right? That's why, for example, um, we at Pan Money... Uh, we aim to evidence everything that we do. We need. We aim to always keep it real, right? So we have real events, real people, real faces, real email addresses that we collect, right? Real photos of our work, real videos of our work, real videos and photos of our merchants, um, you know, and we aim to foment real transactions, right? Um, you know, where real value is, you know, it's not just airdropping the 99th Llama coin to an anonymous beggar on Twitter, but like, you know, people are actually buying stuff, even if it's something as simple as a coffee, as a cup of coffee. So, um, you know, I just think in Bitcoin Cash, we need more real, you know, we need um, products that are aimed at serving real people, right? We don't need like the 99th uh you know hobbyist um app that or like piece of code that like what i don't know i don't even know what anybody's gonna do with it right like we need things like cash id uh ca cash um damn there's so many cash things in bitcoin cash so cash id is the thing where you can log in with your Bitcoin Cash uh, key pair, right? And there's another cash thing which gives you an address like, you know, whatever text you want and then like four numbers after it. Cash address. But I think cash address is the unique BCH address format. 
I'm confused. Like, the, maybe the word cash has been overused. <laughs> you know, like, there's all these domain names, too, that end in .cash, right? Um, like, there's a lot, the, and this, you know, related to this, there's a lot of projects that also are, like, great ideas, and they're started, and we get to a prototype, and then they never get developed into a real product that real people can use. And I, I understand that's that's very hard, right? But, like, let's see if we can you know, have more real um, and less of the whole 99th llama coin thing. Yeah. All right. Let's keep building Bitcoin cash.